Continuing on with our earnings report uh, course, uh, what we are going to do is, and I'm going to show you some of the stocks that we'll be trading and what is the general process for the course. And so I have a watch list here of the top uh, 30, 40 stocks and uh, we'll be trading a lot of these, uh, these stocks. So here you can see we have Apple, we have PayPal, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla may or may not be, this. it's been a very flaky stock to trade and so is, uh, so is Netflix. Uh, but Shopify, Baidu, then we have MasterCard, we have Visa, we have Alphabet, Booking, JP Morgan Chase, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs. All of these are potential candidates. Citigroup, Adobe, Chipotle, Mexican Grill, and uh, a couple of others as well. Nvidia and Alibaba, as well as Costco. So these are some of the stocks that we'll be looking at. And so the analysis that will go into this is looking at what is the previous move that has happened? Uh, what is the current sentiment? And of course, also going through some some kind of basic analyst uh, reports, nothing too uh, complicated. So here's a site. Uh, if you look at it, it's called Earnings Whispers. And uh, if you've uh, if you're following earnings reports, this is a good good report to I mean good site to follow. And we'll be following this site for some basic analysis. So if you look at, you can see there's a there's a uh, calendar here and of course today is uh, Wednesday the 25th of September and you'll see that there are a few stocks that are reporting even now so actually the reporting cycle is throughout the year but for the most part if you look at which stocks they are uh, you know many of them let's just take a look at this uh, you know who is JFU you don't know who these stocks are and uh, similarly if you go back uh, to uh, you know the previous day but then starting Monday you can see some volume coming in so September 27th now let's go to the, the 2nd of uh, October you can see some more stocks are there but even now it's not it's not the volume is not great if you move to like September 15th I mean, I mean I'm sorry October 15th and, and uh, uh, later you'll see that a lot more stocks start to report so let's go to yeah here you can see you know before the open 92 and after the close 137 let's move to the next week and uh, once again you'll see some big numbers 151 before the open 135 here on Wednesday the 23rd we have 92 uh, before the open and after the close it's 137 so that's the kind of calendar you'll see and so even after you go up to the 30th you'll see oh 152 and 211 and so this earnings calendar will extend into November also and a whole bunch of stocks are going to be reporting in November as well so the course will ultimately turn into about a six to seven week course because a lot of these stocks uh, they report uh, you know across this calendar and even past November actually there, there will be stocks that are reporting However, uh, it, these are not the stocks that you want to be trading in anyway. So because we want to look for a certain amount of volatility, we want to be able to uh, understand how to trade these and just from experience and I've created the earnings max product based on this. There's four different kinds of trades and the trades can happen before the earnings report. The trade can happen through the earnings report, which means we take a trade through earnings and then a trade can happen right after the earnings as well. And so there are four or five kinds of trades which are all covered in the course uh, called uh, 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 called uh, 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 Earnings Max. And uh, so you'll get this product for free also uh, after the refund window. But I wanted to highlight in this video, these are some of the stocks that we'll be uh, trading and we'll be looking at some analyst reports. Yeah, let me show you some analyst reports here. You can see that there is an estimate for all these companies and uh, the, the EPS is uh, 1.33, the revenue is 3.5 billion. And uh, if, you, if you click into that, you can also uh, see uh, whether uh, you know they're, uh, uh, they're saying it's going to it's going to report better than expected or what the deal is. It shows you some history of their earnings uh, cycle as well. So that's the kind of basic uh, re uh, research we'll be looking at. And uh, you know you can see that uh, you know there's some descriptions here: uh, expected quarterly revenue, expected annual earnings, all of that, uh, all of that kind of uh, uh, situation. So we'll be analyzing all of this for the earnings trades and then of course most importantly we'll be analyzing the option series because once you select a stock and if you go to the or you know if you go to the options chain for example uh, like for example if you go to uh, the options chain for for Shopify let's go to the option chain and let's take a look at 
uh, the uh, the earning cycle. So for Shopify, the earning cycle is probably going to be this one because always it'll it'll be the one that is uh, you know that's uh, where the implied volatility is highest. Now in the case of uh, Shopify, I see a 63% here. So let's go take a look at the charts. And here, this is a five day, five minute. I want to take a six month daily chart because that will show you when the earnings came up uh, on this. It's, well, it's not I haven't put the earnings on this chart, but let me let me do this here. Here you can see Shopify reported right here. This is Shopify here on the bottom left. And so it reported on 8.1. So approximately you can add three months to that and uh, Shopify will be expected to report on 11.1, which would be November 1. And so that's what I was saying that, uh, you know, all these stocks, the, it, it may go into November, it may go into December. So we look at all of that. And so now if you go and look at the Shopify, it, it's probably reporting in this one. As you can see, this is bumped up to 60. And so this would be the series that uh, where the earnings is going to be impacted. And so uh, you'll see that the volatility is already starting to get bumped up a little bit. It's gone up to 60. And uh, you know, it's usually in the 50s, it's gone up to 60. And of course, we are a good month and uh, a week away from this earnings event. And uh, so we can expect this, uh, uh, this volatility to get bumped up even further, it could go up to 80 90%. And so you can imagine all these option prices are going to be uh, really pumped up and uh, what is, you know and add the money option today is about 22 21 dollars uh, it could go up to 30 dollars also depending on what the expected move is you can see the expected move for shopify even now which is five weeks before the earnings is plus or minus 46 and so uh, at this point the, the the straddle value will be a will be a 46 value but all those details will be covering as we come closer to the earnings event and so now if you want to get the earnings max product, then you should sign up on the website and not on Udemy because uh, I can give the earnings max product for uh, for free as soon as you join on the website. On Udemy, I'm dependent on the 30 day refund window, but either way, it's optional. So you can join on Udemy or you can join on the website, but the earnings max product has all the details about uh, these kind of analysis because it, what happens with options prices before and after earnings is is quite a phenomenon and there are uh, there are tremendous opportunities that we can uh, you know that we can harness from uh, from these kinds of opportunities because option prices just go berserk uh, before the earnings event and then right after the earnings event all the option prices uh, you know they crash and so that's called the volatility explosion and the volatility implosion or the volatility crush and so we'll be looking at all, all of those details. We'll be looking at various series. It doesn't mean we have to take the, uh, the trade in this series. We could take it in the one after that as also because some trades are better put after the earnings uh, expiry series. And so we'll be looking at those kinds of issues as well. In terms of the kinds of strategies, it can be, it can be a whole mix of things. It can be simple long calls, long puts. It can be spreads and it can also be iron condors or uh, or some sort of a calendar uh, or something that has a time decay component to it because the you know that is an important uh, component of option strategies and so we'll be using all of that so i wanted to give all these details but most importantly uh, you know these are the stocks that we'll be trading and as you can see there are at least 20 25 here we won't be taking a trade on all of them because it'll get too much but we'll be taking a we'll be taking a trade on at least about uh, 12 to 15 provided the trading opportunity is right that is important what happens to the option prices what is the volatility what does the analysis report say because at the end of the day the earnings event is a speculative event and nobody has a clue what is going to happen to the stock i mean it can it can go through the roof or it can crash and it can, you know, it, it, there is a certain expected move uh, that the options market puts on the stock, but that expected move may not happen. On the other hand, it can beat that expected move also. So we have to be prepared for any of these eventualities. And uh, that's the kind of analysis that will go into uh, the earnings report trades. So hopefully this is clear. In the previous video, you would have seen uh, the links to join. 
And if you join on the website, you can get it for free, uh, the Earnings Max product right away. And or if you join on Udemy, you should join, uh, you know, uh, quite soon so that your 30 days uh, comes up uh, early. So uh, if this course is released uh, at the end of, uh, you know, by the end of September, if you join right away, then by the end of October, you can have the Earnings Max product with you. And uh, then you'll be in a much, much better position to follow all these analysis, all these trades and it will put you in a much better position. So those are some of the details in terms of the delivery of the course, whether it's Udemy or, um, or uh, the website, I'll be creating a detailed video on each earnings trade. And within that uh, video, there will be complete analysis of why the trade makes sense. And then there'll also be uh, some eventualities in case, okay, if it happens uh, in our favor, then uh, what do we do? Or sometimes the trades may not happen in our favor. And then you know, how do we, uh, you know, how do we adjust them? So uh, obviously, uh, once the earnings report is done, we'll have much more information on what the stock is going to do. And so the next day's video before the markets open, you'll have this video. So, uh, you know, based on how the uh, company reported the previous evening, uh, I'll be making a video by the next morning and you'll know how to deal with uh, the previous day's uh, stock in, in terms of whether it's a, uh, you know, it's a winner or a loser, whatever the situation might be, uh, I'll give you complete details on what the adjustments are and how you would manage that trade. Uh, so it will be a very um, detailed analysis video that you'll receive every morning or, or rather not every morning, every day we, uh, uh, every day we take a, a earnings trade on, on these uh, 12 to 15 stocks. And also, once the stock reports, you'll have a video the next morning, which will outline what are the adjustments that we need to do? How do we deal with the situation? So hopefully all of this is clear. If something is not clear, please email me at info at option And uh, we can clarify all these details. Uh, but the course is uh, $199, but there's a 25% discount. So you can get in for $149. And also you'll get the earnings max product for free. That's it. This is Harish Swaminathan from optiontiger.com uh, and I look forward to seeing you inside. Thank you.